Hello everybody and welcome back to the next part of the Phoenix Delta. Uh, before we get into actual modifications, I know, I know, I'm delaying one more time, but I wanted to talk about these guys, the, uh, the magball arms, because while they're very convenient, as you just saw, they are extremely heavy. And I, I discovered this while I was talking with another member of the Discord, James. I'll uh, bring up a few screenshots of our conversation. But he has an extremely fast Delta printer. He's doing sub 10 minute benches, stuff like that. Uh, obviously it's smaller, so I, I can't expect nearly the same performance from this guy. But we were talking about the arms. And particularly, Magball arms are far, far heavier than I had pictured. They end up being about twice as heavy as their other just ball and socket uh, equivalents. Uh, as a result, for me on this printer, it ends up being an extra 150 grams of moving mass, which is not insignificant. A good way to think of that amount of weight in terms of 3D printing is that's essentially an orbiter extruder with the motor. Same thing with like a, an LGX if maybe that's more your style. But that's a fair amount of moving mass that's added here. Now admittedly it's not moving in all three axes on the effector itself, but rather here individually up and down. But still, that's a lot of extra weight. For for ease of use, I'm going to keep these for the time being, just because it's truthfully I don't really feel like replacing them. But if the time comes, this will be a fairly significant upgrade to the machine, uh, just replacing these with something a little more normal. One of the challenges I didn't anticipate really um, with finding new arms is that these guys are 400 millimeters, and most of the ones that you find online are 300 millimeters. Like I believe that's the largest uh see me cnc has online or maybe 350 something like that but regardless not enough here so i could go the custom route and try to do something there or something else i'm not sure for now i'm just keeping it stock because hey these work and i'm not going to be pushing any insane speeds but it is worthwhile to note if you're planning on building a custom delta printer that magball arms while cool while convenient and easy to install are ludicrously heavy compared to some of the competition out there all right, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.